Here's an intro to writing Markdown. If you want to create a title or header, add in hashtags or pound symbols at the beginning of the line. As you add in more, the headers become smaller. Three dashes like that symbolizes a horizontal line, which is good for different sections of your document. If you want to emphasize something, add in asterisks at the beginning and end of the word or phrase. One set means you're italicizing and two means you're bolding. If you add a caret in at the beginning of the line, that creates a block quote. Now, if you want to add in some code in your markdown, you can actually add a backtick at the beginning and end of the code, and that will make it look all codey. If you want to create a list, you can do that by numbering. So for instance, here I'm creating a grocery list, but instead of using one, two, three, I have another trick for you. Actually replace the one, two, three with all ones. This way, if you change the order of your list, the numbers actually stay the same. Awesome. Another neat trick you can do in VS Code with Markdown is add in emojis. There's an extension called Markdown Emoji I'm using here. Uh, so that's the syntax for it, just around the emoji name and colons. And you can find more at the extension marketplace. If you want to add a link in your markdown, just surround the word that you want to create a hyperlink for in brackets and then add the link.